do what you don't want to do. That works. I'm telling you. When I started doing the things that I knew I was supposed to be doing, working on my body the right way, not lifting weights, going crazy, time under tension, nice slow reps, thinking about what I had to do, researching everything on YouTube, researching it on Instagram, whatever have you, and trial and error, and just trying it and going through the process. That has helped me a lot. If you can somehow get over your fear of who you were supposed to be, you want to stop it. Get over that fear from learning that, from listening to these sermons. You don't got to have nobody with you. Team don't got to be with you. God got to be with you. You have God with you. Get over all your little fears because everything that you are afraid of are going to be carried with you to wherever you're trying to go. And that's called curse. That's a curse. I'm learning all this stuff, man. They've been telling me to go to church and listen to the Bible. And I've just been putting it off, thinking I could do it by myself. But in the sermon today said, you can't do it by yourself. You think you can do it without God, and you can't. It's so crazy. Now that I've been listening to them sermons, my whole body just started loosening up even more and getting stronger. And I'm doing squats. I'm like, it's just anything's possible. Through the grace of God, I'm telling you. I don't know if you guys are religious or not, but find who you believe in and please dive dive all the way in. Like listen to a sermon every once in a while, or whatever it's called for you. Listen to a little bit of scripture. Um, it, it will only benefit you. I promise you that. That's my word for today. Stay focused. You cannot do it without God. And if you're by yourself, pray. God will have your back. He always has your back, regardless if you believe in him or not. He's got your back. Him, her, them. Just keep the faith.